All right. Welcome to your Tabata today, guys. This is your first Tabata class. Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Choose the intensity. If you want to make it more intense, faster reps, more reps in the time frame. If you want to take it down a notch, keep it at your level. Just slow it down. So choose your choose your level today. We have groups of four. So we have four blocks of four exercises. We're going to super set these, so they're going to be four exercises that are essentially working here on the same muscle group and some contrasting muscle groups. So we're gonna start with our warm up first. I like to use our warm up round as our first round. So it's gonna be more to get your blood rate pumping, heart rate, blood pumping. So let's start with just some basic stretches just to get us started. So let's start with our legs apart. We're just gonna bring our hips to the side, to the back, side, and front. Start it out nice and slow, and then start to get it into a circle. Rotate all the way around, and rotate that direction. Bring it around down. And then go ahead and bend those knees down into a nice little half squat. And reach up and over to your right. Down, reach up and over to your left. Again, start to focus on getting a little bit lower and sitting those hips back, making sure those knees aren't going past the toes. Two more. And great, take those arms, pull them behind the back, stretch it out. Our first round is going to be some jumping jacks, do some squat crunches, some plank lunges, and some downward dogs. So, for jumping jacks, if you want low impact, it's just stepping out in here. And if you have tight shoulders, you can also do your jumping jacks pressing away from you. That's going to be round one. And then we'll go into our squat crunches, which is hands up behind the head. You're going to sit it down into your squat, cross elbow to knee, and down. Cross elbow to knee. And then from there, plank lunge is when you're going down into your plank, walk it out. Lunge leg comes forward, press it down. So these are slow. These are warm up round. And we're gonna walk it back in. Off to standing. And then the round after that is going to just be a downward dog plank. From here, walking it back in and up. So those are our four exercises that we are gonna start with. It is already hot in here and I'm already warm. This is gonna be great. Okay, you guys, here we go. Let's let that move over. We are going to start with our jumping jacks. Make sure you can hear the music. What, what I All right. really want to know is... All right, here we go. Three, two, one, work. Jumping jacks. Push the hands away if you want. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle one, complete. All right, cycle one, complete. We're gonna go into our squat to crunch next. Three, two, one, work. Squat it down. Elbow to knee. Focus on getting nice and low. Watch those knees. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle two, complete. All right, get ready to walk it out into that lunge in your plank position. Three, two, Stand at the one, edge of your space. Work. Walk it out. Plank, leg comes forward, and replace. Walk it back in. And repeat. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle three, complete. Walk it up. All right. Three, two, we have one. downward dog. Walk it back up. Plank position. Hips up to the sky. Down dog. Back down to your plank. Stretch out those 
arms. Get those shoulders ready to work. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle four, complete. Drop it down. All right, back from the top, jumping jacks. Three, two, one, work. Quick changes. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle five, complete. Whew. All right. Squat crunch. Three, two, one, work. Sit down. And lift. Hips back. Belly to spine. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle six, complete. Almost there, two more. All right, plank into our lunges. Three, two, one, work. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle seven, complete. All right, get ready to walk it back out into that lunge. I mean, plank. Three, two, one, work. Here we go. Walk it out. Down dog. Three, two, one, recover. Tabata complete. Yay, round one done. All right, give a minute, grab some water. And we are gonna start with our upper body round next. So we are gonna start with our push-ups. Get those out of the way. I'm gonna go push-ups. Into V-ups, into tricep dips. And commando planks, which sounds like a whole lot of stuff. Pause in 60 seconds in a second. Okay, so for this round, we have push ups. As many push ups as you can do in 20 seconds. You can choose any type you want on the knees, on the toes. And then from there, we're going to go into a commando plank, which I think it's called a commando. I just call them walk walkouts. So you're going to be in your plank, you're going to hold here, drop it down onto your elbows, and walk it back up to the hands. These are pretty hard, so take these nice and slow. And if you need to, you can drop the knees down for a modified version. Drop it down elbows and hands. Try to make those hands right underneath the shoulders. From there, tricep dips. If you have a chair to do them off of or a bench, you can do them right off of that. If not, on the ground. Hips up, bending the knee, bending the elbows backwards is fine too. And then after that, we have our V ups and our plank on our elbows, which is the same thing as our downward dogs, but we're on our elbows. They just come in and out, up and down. So upper body, we're gonna do those four and repeat them twice. It always gets so so toasty in here. All right. Feeling colorful today. <sighs> All right. Go ahead and get ready in that push up position. Three, two, one, work. Oh. Here we go. Bring it down. Push up as many as you can. Keep those core muscles pulled in. Glutes squeeze. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle one, complete. All right, we have our commando planks walking from elbows to hands. Three, Here we go. Three, two, one, work. Down. 
take these slow or take them fast, it's up to you. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle two, complete. Ooh. All right, try some dips. Here we go. Three, two, one, work. Drop it down. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle three, complete. Ooh. All right. The ups onto the elbows, plank position. Three, two, one, work. Hips up, back down. Keep those hips up. I'd rather have you be up too high than down too low. Don't let that back sag down. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle four, complete. All right, we're halfway through. We're gonna repeat from the top, push-ups. Three, two, one, work. Here we go. Walk it down. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle five, complete. Ooh. All right, hand walks or commando planks. Right into it, here we go. Three, two, one, work. And up. Remember, you can bring the knees down and modify. You know those arms are feeling it. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle six, complete. Triceps. All right. Three, two, one, work. Lift, down. Take it slow if you have to. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle seven, complete. Ooh. The last one, you guys. Those V up planks. Three, two, one, work. Here we go. Hips up. Feel that stretch behind the hamstring. Only thing that's moving is your hips. Three, two, one, recover. Tabata, complete. Hip, hip, hooray. We made it. Whew. All right, we have our core round up next. So for our core, we are going to stick with our, we're gonna go Russian twist first. Modification is feet down on the ground. Just lean it back. Make sure that low back is tucked under. You're just gonna go side to side. Make it a little bit harder. You can lift the feet side to side. That's round one. Tabletop crunches. Lay it down on the back. Feet come to tabletop. Knees in line with hips. Hands behind head. Lifting, down, lifting, down. Goal is to keep that low back pressed into the floor the whole time. Just holding this position of keeping that low back down is activating your core. And that's what we want. From there, we have scissor kicks and then reverse crunches. So for scissor kicks, your modification is you can keep your hands down, keep the knees bent, tap the heels down on the ground. Three, two, one, work. Just like this. Whoop, hold on. And after that, we just have reverse crunches. So if you're gonna do the advanced version of scissor kicks, straight legs up and down. And then after that, a reverse crunch is just lifting those hips off the ground and controlling it. Lift and back down to tabletop. 
to list. I'll shout them out as we go through them again, because I know if I didn't write them down, I would forget <laughs> immediately. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with our Russian twist. If you have a weight, feel free to use it. Lean it back. Three, two, one, work. Here we go. Side to side. Keep that core pulled in. Or just hold this V sit position. And that's okay too. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle one complete. Lay it down. Tabletop legs. Pull that low core down. Three, Hands two, behind one, head. Work. And lift. Eyes looking up at the ceiling. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle two, complete. Nice. All right. Scissor kicks are next. Modification. Bent knees. Three, Tapping two, the feet. One, work. Advance. Legs straight. Shoulders up. Try to keep those legs as low as possible if you have them straight out. If you need to do big, bigger scissor kicks, keep that low back on the ground. That's fine. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle three, complete. All right, reverse crunches. Three, two, one. Legs and tabletop. Lift those hips up. And lift. Control it coming down. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle four, complete. All right, we are going to repeat one more time. Russian twist, sit it up. Three, two, one, work. Side to side. Cycle five, complete. All right. Lay it back, tabletop crunches. Three, two, one, work. Behind the head. Lift. Keep it going. Use that momentum to go right into the next round. Keep those knees over the hips. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle six, complete. Woo. All right, scissor kicks. Low back in the ground. Three, two, one, work. Option, bend knees, or straight. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle seven, complete. Woo. Almost there. All right, reverse crunches. Hands down by the side. Three, two, one, work. Lift and slow it down. Three, two, one, recover. Tabata complete. Yay. All right, you guys, we have our lower body run next. All right, and it is going to just essentially progress through these rounds. We're going to start with a basic body weight squat, and we're going to go into a sumo squat. And then we have a sumo squat hold at the bottom, and then a jump squat. So for all of these rounds, if you are wanting a modified version, I just want you to body weight squat it out, maybe go for speed squats, work up in form, sumo squats, same thing, bringing it down, 
and up. If you want to do progression towards the last one, which is the jump squat, you're just going to sit it down, come up onto the toes, and back down. So it's like that. Three, two, one. You want your gold star for today? You're feeling it? Go for all out jump squats at the end. All right. Here we go, you guys. Ooh. Take a second to breathe. Here we go. All right, body weight squat. See if this music works. Three, two, one, work. Sit it down. And up. Focus on getting low and good form. Press those knees out. Chest up. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle one complete. Break. All right, sumo squat. Legs a little wider than hips. Point the toes out. Three, two, one, work. Tight core. Sit down. Think of those knees going straight out. Good. Press through those heels. Two, complete. Break. Nice, almost there. All right, this one is going to be a sumo squat pull or repeat what we just did. Three, two, one, work. So you're going to bring it down. Stay in that low position. Pulse it up. You can try for three and up. Pulse it for three. Or try to hold it the whole time. Knees back. Cycle three, complete. All right. Squat, up to our toes, three, two, one, or jump work. squat. Bring it back, and up. Modified on toes, take a, take a nice little jump. Cycle four, complete. I shouldn't have done jump squats last night, too. <sighs> All right, back to the beginning. Three, Regular two, squats. One, work. Tight core. Flat back. Sit it back. Five, complete. All right, sumo squats. Three, two, one, nice work. and wide. Bring it down and press. Press those knees out and back. Cycle six, complete. Oh, what legs? We don't need legs. Check it out, here we go. Three, two, out that one, pulse. Work. Down. Try to increase your pulse, says. Three, four, five. As many as you can. Three, two, one, rest. Cycle seven, complete. Oh, okay. Last round. Three, two, Jump squat. one, rest. Bring it down or bring it right up to the toes. Three, two, one, recover. Tabata complete. Woo. All right, you guys, let's bring it down to the floor. We have some glute bridges that we're going to finish with. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, down on the floor. Take a nice big breath in. 
All right. We are going to do a set of glute bridges and then stretch it down. Bring those feet a little bit away from your butt, a little bit of space in between the knees. I want you to wiggle your toes, make sure the weight is in your heels. From here, I want you to squeeze your glute muscles together, aka the cheeks. Squeeze them. Pull that belly button down into the floor. And from here, we're gonna just peel our tailbone up off the ground, keeping everything squeezed and pulled in. You are holding. Take a nice big breath in, keep holding. Pressing through those heels, really making those muscles work. For three, two, one, bring it down. Roll through the spine. Bring both of those knees into the chest. And then we're gonna repeat one more time, except this time we have our butterfly bridge. So we're gonna open our knees to the sides, place our feet together, and then tilt those hips back. So again, there's no space underneath the low back. Squeeze the cheeks. We're gonna lift up. We don't need to get up super high. We just want those glute muscles working. And we are holding. Really squeeze, keep that core pulled in. Three, two, one, and bring it down. All right, last one is gonna be our marching bridge. If you are still working on perfecting your glute bridges, I want you to choose either your butterfly bridge or your regular glute bridge and stick on holding those. If you are good at your loop bridges and you feel very confident in them, we're gonna lift, keeping everything squeezed. And we're gonna alternate lifting left leg, place it down to right leg. The goal here is to not let those hips dip down. Use our heart. Keep the weight in the heel. Five seconds. And last one. And brace. Bring it down. Bring the knees to the chest. Rock it side to side. And go ahead and hug that right knee and extend the left knee straight. And cross that right leg up and over to the opposite side. Try and keep both shoulders square. And go ahead and bring it back together. Switch sides. Extend the left knee in. And right knee out. Cross it up and over. Nice big deep breath. And bring it back together. Both knees in for our happy baby. Press those knees down. Hold it here, take a couple more deep breaths. Press the knees down a little bit further. Good, rock yourself up to a seated position very carefully. All right, we're gonna cross our right leg over our left for a nice little upright pigeon. Lean it forward. These ones are so important. Stretch out both hips and low back. And then inhale up, switch legs. Left over the right. If you can't get it all the way up on the thigh, you can place it right down on the ground, on the inside of that leg. And same thing, just lean it forward. Inhale up, both legs out. Oh, I might start from the beginning. <laughs> Reach for those toes. Nice big breath in. Notice any tension differences if you have one leg that feels tighter than the other. And inhale. 
Inhale up, one last little stretch, our butterfly. Place those feet together, lift the arms up over the head, inhale in and reach past those feet as far as you can or hold on to the toes. Curve that back over, try to get your nose as close to your feet as possible. And inhale up, shake it out. Give yourself a pat on the back. An awesome job today and have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody.